Wait a minute. Catwoman? What are you doing here? I thought you were supposed to be back at Superhero High with Harley Quinn and the others. Oh, it's you. Well, apparently I was looking for my cat, Roz. Unfortunately, though, he is nowhere to be seen. Almost as if it's some kind of magic. Well, maybe perhaps another supervillain has kidnapped him, or maybe he ran away, or... <laughs> it's debatable, but I'm not sure yet. Well, why don't I just bring you over to the Hall of Justice with me? Surely Batgirl is good with machines, right? Sure, why not? All right, so this wouldn't be too much of a Scooby-Doo mystery to solve. Now, Catwoman, when was the last time you saw your pet cat? Last time he was present, he was just fast asleep in his bed. But soon after that, that was it. Fair enough, surprisingly. Now let's be on the search for whoever kidnapped Roz. Great, Hera, that must be the kidnapper. I think so. I wonder where it's going anyway. Remind me to have that GPS system fixed. Well, perhaps maybe Supergirl can investigate the situation. She does have X-ray vision, you know. Why, great Scott! Well, what do you see? Looks like we've got two unlikely villains capturing not only Roz, but also other house cats in Metropolis City. That doesn't sound very heroic to me. Agreed. Supergirl, it's up to you to rescue Roz and all those other kittens. Our Catwoman is counting on you. Aye, aye. Somebody knock?
That's right, everybody. Come and get your rescued house cats. Only five dollars each. She's good. Thanks for all your help finding Roz with me. Why, I just don't know what I would do without my cute little kitty. No problem. That's exactly what friends are for, especially for those who are anti-heroes. And the Disney princesses are babies. Cinderella Belle, <coughs> Snow White Ariel, love to hug you tight. Play lullabies. Good night. Disney sparkled baby dolls each play a different song and are sold separately. Hey, what you gonna do today, Marty? I'm gonna call 976 7777. They're gonna tell me a great story every day. I'm gonna ask my parents if it's okay if I call 976-7777. No, me first. Me first. Two dollars per call plus possible toll. Ask your parents' permission before calling. Light bright, light bright. Turn on the magic of colored lights. Light bright, light bright. Make a face to glow at night. Smiling friends, shining bright. Make a sign to say goodnight. Just pop in the colored pegs and follow the patterns. It's easy to make your favorite pictures and characters, or you can always create your own light pictures. Light bright, light bright, turn on the magic of shining lights. Light bright from Milton Bradley. What for lunch? It's Hungry Hungry Hippo! Hungry Hungry Hippo! Hungry Hungry Hippo! We love to feed our game. We're Hungry Hungry Hippo! We love to feed our game. We're Hungry Hungry Hippo! We love to feed our game. It's Hungry Hungry Hippos. First to gobble up the most marbles wins. Hungry Hungry Hippos. We're Hungry Hungry Hippos. We love to feed our face. We're Hungry Hungry Hippos. We're in an eating race. How's about dessert? We're Hungry Hungry Hippos. Hungry Hungry Hippos. Hungry Hungry Hippos. Hungry, hungry, hippos. I don't know what to do with them. Do you? I don't know what to do with them either. You? No idea what to do with them. So many free movies, you won't know what to do with them. Sign up today for Comcast Digital Cable with On Demand and you'll get this amazing offer. You'll get over 250 free movies that are ready to watch when you are. Just call 1-888-COMCAST. Comcast Digital Cable with On Demand. It's Comcast. Mama, play it now with Easy Bake and 7MP. Looks just like M&M's. Look what I can make. Real fun colors and cool M's, too. My favorite Yeah. But I think it's time that we should get some R&R. &R. You know, rest and relaxation. We've got a big day of crime fighting tomorrow. You know, Rose Wilson may be right. Hmm. Funny enough, I was thinking the exact same thing. Come on, girls. Oh, Thomas. Me and my friends are going to be heading to bed for a snooze. So make sure to keep an eye out just in case any rodent wants to lay a finger on our cheddar cubes from the slumber party. Have a good night. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. A cat woman owning a cat? <laughs> Next you'll be telling me that Toto from The Wizard of Oz is related to Charlie Dog from Looney Tunes.
Okay, coast is clear. All right. So what do you think is in this place? Ooh, there's cheddar cubes, just like Mother used to make. All right. Let's bust this concrete stand open. Guess it's time for plan B. Hey, Jim. Uh, how come you're on top? Because it's much easier for me to search for things perspectively. Okay, uh, right. <laughs> uh, Jim, do you see the cheddar cubes? Yep. Oh, boy. What, what's the matter? Looks like that pussycat's inside again. How are you going to get in? <laughs> well, men, looks like we're going through the roof. Right. Now, give me your foot. Oh! Make sure to tie the knot around your waist. Shh. You'll wake the pussy cat. Right. Now here's a good time for me to go over the plan. I'm thinking. Hey, fellas. This is great. Stop fooling around! Swing me closer. Well, okay, but hurry up and grab me the ones with cheddar. Was that? Well, whatever it is, I sure hope it's not ghosts. Well, only one way to find out. Thanks, buddy. That went well. I agree. But all the same, I just can't help but think we've forgotten something. Well, Thomas, it looks like you've caught yourself a midnight treat one in a million. <laughs> you are so busted. <sighs> Tell me about it. Shows, balloon animals.
animals, games for kids, popcorn machine, cotton candy machine, and bouncing castles. Call for your kids' birthday parties. 212-613-MAGIC. Who's your favorite uncle? Uncle Magic! You wrote it. No fear, the Orkin Man is here, and you've been evicted. Yeah! Oh, but what if bugs come back? <laughs> then I'll be back, Jack. No charge, of course. See? Satisfaction's guaranteed, or your money back. Oh. Got bugs? Call Orkin for a free inspection and guaranteed protection. Don't even think about it. Aha! Sweet Tots from Wonka. Mouth-watering medley of candies, each with its own combination of sweet and tangy tastes, guaranteed to enliven your mouth. <laughs> or anyone else's. <laughs> Wake up your mouth with Sweet Tarts. And if you really want a jolt, you can try the shockingly sour Sweet Tarts Shockers from Wonka. Hey, Lima. Welcome to a whole new way to get great food on the go. Check out the newest thing at Speedway. The Speedy Cafe. All your favorite foods made fresh now. From breakfast sandwiches to handmade subs, specialty dogs, and pizzas with your favorite toppings. To made to order espressos, hot and iced lattes and mochas, and more. Chances are you're stopping by Speedway today anyway. Why not pick up a large oven baked pepperoni pizza for just $5? Ready when you are. The Speedy Cafe at the convenience stores of Speedway. When I first got into it, uh, um, it seemed uh, it seemed very simple. To, uh, you take the pizza where it's going, and then you go back and get another pizza. But as you, uh, as I do it more and more, I realize that it that it is a business, uh, you know, and uh, and I need to be as efficient as possible. And part of that is taking care of my engine. So that's why you Chevron with Techron because a clean engine is you know, part of my business plan. No gasoline cleans better than Chevron with Techron. I like to think outside the box. Well, not the pizza box. Imagine a world beneath the sea with an enchanted McDonald's of pure fantasy where the little mermaids bring Sebastian and flounder the fish come to life to grant your holiday wish. Buy a $5 book of McDonald's gift certificates and get a free plush ornament, either flounder That's me. or Sebastian. I always knew I'd be famous. From the all-new Disney animated feature, The Little Mermaid, now in theaters everywhere. So come to McDonald's, hurry along, like a true fantasy. It's here then, it's Your holiday place, McDonald's. He's got legs of lumber and arms of steel. He eats a bowl of hammers and every meal. He can hold your house in the palm of his hand. He's your old man, not old man. Big Jim got you covered. Great Big Jim, there ain't no other. So, this is covered, right? Yes, ma'am. Take care of it for you right now. Get up! Hi, this is Jamie. We need some help. Where do you go for the most frightening movies on video? The most sports videos? The most action and adventure? Comedy? Just take off for Blockbuster Video and take home whatever you want because we have more movies than anyone in the world or anywhere else. Big Mac, please. Yeah, and get him a large fries. What? Well, you want to play McDonald's fries surprise, right? I hadn't thought about it. Well, it's easy. Just buy a large or a medium fries or a hash brown. Then peel off the sticker. <laughs> you could win $10,000 or fly anywhere in the world Delta Airlines goes. I never win anything. Even a yams for brains like me wins every time. How? I got eyes uh, in the back of my head. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, it sure is a nice day for a road race at the Grand Prix. Wouldn't you say so, Chuck? Absolutely. The drivers of the legendary teams are enshrined in racing's pantheon. You got that right. But what about the cars? These vehicles are legends in their own right. Really? 
How so? Well, let's take a closer look and see what makes them tick. First up, the Togokan brand, mark of quality for generations. Driven by Mr. Teijo Togokan himself, took the city to city two years running. Underneath lies a single fire-breathing dragon of an engine, aka the TM-971. This beast growls out 567 dying centimeters of torque for an unheard of 29 bars of mean effective pressure. How so? By the help with a modified King and Ring reverse helix exhaust port. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this baby can cook. Up next, we see Ekron Etablissimon, or E-Square, a benchmark of refinement sophistication on the track since the first Grand Prix. And between you and me, the Grey Ghost's car is chock-a-block with high-tech features. Take note, for example, how it rolls on LAF twice-folded amber axles with Fibertronic Cyborg bearings. Note how this vehicle contains a pulse detonation engine, a 26-cylinder hot block, and a negative displacement undercharger which can turn everyday oxygen into liquid fire. And finally, the paint job keeps the car camouflaged until it's too late. The Grey Ghost has already passed you by. A relative newcomer to the game, Flying Fox's freights bring a zippy little ride to the equations. Let's begin with her jump jacks. With over 75 patented components, these reverse helix decompensators offer up twice the vertical thrust of the classic no-sock jack. And what rally car would be complete without a rogues gallery of assistive modifications? Otherwise known as a telescoping carbon fiber Christmas tree chop bit with a reticulating U-joint. And finally, the unique paint job has a way of catching opposing driver's eyes. But beware. Now this little beauty comes to us from Razorback Industries, provided by founder Peter Pat, who can be seen day in and day out at Thunderheads, toiling for a spot in the standards. And trust me when I say that she is factory standard, stem to stern. Ah oh, well, there will always be action figures than toy cars, Pat. And speaking of toy cars, what is perennial contender Nitro doing in a jacked up modification with dual decompensators? His sponsor, Ekpyrosis, has done their best to bring his creation to life as a fire-breathing monster and committing a terrifying figure for children. But what can this car do when the rubber hits the road? Up next, the Hydrocell brand, brought to you by the colorful Snake Oiler. With gadgets like these, never let the sinister yellow-white headlights fool you, folks. This car is no toy. But of course, the most appropriate vehicle for Cobras. Hey, babe, what do you say we take this baby out for a spin? Semper Fiber has made its name in the cutting-edge digestive, but of course his quote-unquote army of drivers has failed to post a single W in the standings. Underneath the camouflage exterior is a standard Kawara Mono chassis. Boring! And what's this here? Uh-oh, I think Semper Fi has an installed and articulating scissorator, the most unacceptable tool used for hedge clipping. Underneath the hood, another illegal modification. A Bobe R-124 plasma cannon, or goo gun in technical terms. It all leads to the both of us to believe that perhaps Semper Fiber isn't in it to win it. But that's not gonna grind him to a halt of creating an entire army of American soldiers attempting to win the war together. Hey, excuse me, bub. Over here. Uh, yeah, moving on. And while on the topic of armies, Team Thorazine brings us a ride that harkens back to a different time in the name of the Mountain Gods. This creation combines cutting-edge technologies with systems more suited to a Viking longship than a rally car. The deck of the car is constructed of Danish whalebone and wrought iron. A throwback to days of old, there is no technical name for Thorazine's beehive thrower. More than a few drivers have scuffed at the invention, only to return to the pit stung by defeat and stash beneath the vessel, the Hammer of the Gods. If their drivers can manage to get above you, it'll take a lot more than prayer to Odin in order to get you to the finish line. Behold Thorazine! So little is officially known about Racer X, who can drive a car unlike any other. Underneath the shooting star lies an innovative composite muffler system, which makes this baby loud and proud. The dragster drive computer doesn't waste time regulating and distributing, 
it just pushes the Apache block to an MPS unachievable in a heavier ride. The interoptic analysis metering puts the wheels in direct contact with an optimized fuel cell multiplexer. Or so we think, that is. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Royalton Industries, the creator of the fearsome GRX. Royalton has designed his sinister beauty from the ground up with the help of these babies. The wheel wells feature a totally redesigned joint system, to which you'd be better off calling T360. Exhaust pillows independently recycle excess thermal energy, which, when combined with two dozen ground effect channels carved into a single forged body system, can put a car on the road that might be better suited for space travel. No, not that kind of space travel. Anyways, welcome to the engine of the future. Created by father of Speed Racer, Pops Racer, and his family unit, Racer Motors, your favorite and mine, the Mach 5. What's interesting about this Mach is that his jump jacks are controlled with independent exothermic gearing linked to a system of buttons used on the steering wheel. A bulletproof hydrodynamic cockpit glass is capable in case of rough weather or rough competition. And finally, titanium saw blades mounted beneath the car's trident broom buzz through anything in the Mach's way. Yes sir, the Mach 5 is an icon, tearing up the road and destined for greatness. And finally, the newest edition of the Racer Motors installment, the Mach 6. How do they do it? What do they put in it? Lots and lots of love, and lots of really cool features. As you can see, Mr. Racer powers his new Mach with a single forged Bernoulli rocket booster. Next, Racer takes an entirely new approach to the suspension, using components derived from biological sources to achieve a degree of flexibility not found in factory-built wheels. Racer's jacks may look the same as the Mach 5, but these babies use case-hardened dampeners to push young Racer up, up, and over the competition. And when you put all of these elements together in the whole package, it's up to this narrator to say, Hey there, Speed, what are you waiting for? Go! 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 Wait a minute, the Mach 4? I've never seen a vehicle like this one before. Aha! Mr. Racer, I always knew there was something sketchy about that vehicle. Now, is there anything you'd like to say in front of our audience? 